Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. We're delving into Game Week 399 for the best players, my top picks. That could be a key player to keep an eye on throughout the season. Without further ado, let's jump into it. The first player is Jonas Hoffman from Bayern Leverkusen. Obviously, we know he has just moved from Gladbach in the Bundesliga to Leverkusen. In my opinion, a much better team. As you can see from the weekend just gone, he got a 37 all-round score with an assist. The total of 97, so really good scorer. Now, Hoffman was a very good scorer anyway um, at Gladbach. Now, if I just moved this to home games, as you can see in the Bundesliga, he's really, really high scoring. So just take that in mind as well. Now, my big question is, can you do it away? And a new team, you know, playing for Leverkusen, can he get, become a better scorer away from home? Obviously, got 172 there. You know, that's the main question for me. Now, the next two away games are very difficult in Gladbach and the hardest game of the season at Bayern Munich. In obviously less possession against his former team, for example, as well. So maybe don't take those scores, you know, as effective as that. Um, but it would be good to keep an eye on it throughout the season just to see how he does away from home. Um, obviously, home is great as well at the same time. At 0.155 for his rare card and over £30 for his limited card, is not bad in my opinion. As I mentioned before, he's a very good player last season in, in the Bundesliga. This is a heat map from the weekend. Just about to see that, I think, guys. He did get one assist, four key passes, two big chances created as well. So expect more of that often and works in, in those advanced roles as well. Now, he is 31 years old. However, he's just signed for Leverkusen. There's no Saudi link, so... No risk with that side of things. He's got a contract until 2027. So definitely a definite player that I've got my eye on throughout the season as well. I'm potentially looking out for a champ midfielder. So he's definitely high up on my list, especially after this weekend. Next up, we have Pepelu from Valencia. Now, those that have followed my channel for a while would know this guy has been in my videos over the summer. It was in the transfer special video. I'll leave a link somewhere above my head. And the reason why I had this player in my video Again, I've already talked about this before, so we're going to too much detail. It wasn't so much of a transfer away, it was more of a transfer incoming for Valencia. So he was on loan last season, second division. For Levante, I believe. Yeah, for Levante, took a lot of set PCs, penalties, etc. And as you can see, really good scorer. Now, the big question that I had over the summer would, would he would he play for Valencia? Would he get in the side? And how well would he do? Well, the first game against Sevilla, tough game of the season. Didn't play that well in terms of scores on so rare. They might argue that the last game against Las Plamas, you know, easy game against a new promoted team, got a really good round score. The key thing for me, he's played 90 minutes in both games for Valencia, so it shows he's a key part of that team. But also he's on penalties as well. He took the winning penalty for Valencia in, over the weekend. That, that kind of shows me he's a key player on set PCs. At just, you know, £11, £12 pounds for his limited card for a champ midfielder, with, you know, potential penalty set PC is the undivided, in my opinion. So he's kind of going under the radar. So I want to keep an eye on over the season. And just to get the heat map from last season as well, he was involved heavily for Levante. Again, it was second division in League 2, so it was very hard to kind of predict that kind of stuff. Moving into a new season, but as you can see, it does take set pieces as well. As you can see here, in some set pieces this season for Valencia. So one to keep an eye on, maybe watch his next game, also soon in the play next next weekend. Again, watch him, you know, see how he performs that game, get a bit more data and take it from there. And the third player is another player I recommended in my video over the summer as well. I think it was on a different video. Um, but Ballygard, who plays for Charlesbourg in the French division, a really good scorer at 25 years old. Now the only risk with this is potential transfer as you can see, his contract is next summer, so he might move away. It might be a great move, um, or it couldn't be. You know, it might be a terrible move in terms of SO5 scores. But again, he stopped the season really well in the two games. Done really well in terms of scoring, in my opinion. First game against Leon, again, tough game. Got a goal and assist, 72 points. Not the greatest AA scores in the last season. Really good, really good form, Balagard. Now, last game, they lost 3-0 against Monaco. You might be thinking, Jack, he only got 12 around school. They lost 3-0. You know, why have you hired this player? Just to have two scores a bit more, and again, there's all lifts and buts um, on these different players. But I'm just going to have these few things. It's a yellow card, which obviously equates to a foul. That's five points in there. Now, again, 
I'm saying it's about every single play, only if they scored, if they got a yellow card or didn't score. So I completely get that, guys. But you know, five points there, you know, he conceded six goals, see so losing him. So he conceded three goals, losing him six points. You know, if he takes one goals away, that's again another two points, that's seven points on top of that. Look at 19 all round score, and again I keep repeating it, it's all ifs and buts, but it's still a really good A score in my opinion for a 3 0 loss. Um, he does like to dribble, take on people, for example. Um, we've got Jules won it, for example, as well. The good player to keep an eye on, again, just a bit of a risk with this one, just because of a transfer. You're watching play, really exciting player. Again, just over £16. I believe he was in my video for top players under under £10 in midfielders. So he has had a price increase since then, but I'm sure, and I believe every player has, especially in the Premier League and the European Leagues as well. So, again, keep an eye on him. Watch out for transfer links. But Badigard is one of the players I'm looking at for the rest of the season. And the last two players are both Bundesliga players. So much like Hoffman, we've only got one game sample to go off from previous weekend in the new season. Both defenders. The first one is Lacroix. I think I said that name right. In Lacroix, Lacroix. Again, probably said that name completely wrong. If I do own a rare card, so I'm a little bit biased towards this one. Now, with Tottenham buying um, Wolfsburg defender um, Van de Ven, I think it is, um, spots opened up for the Croats to kind of go into that position again. Now, he was in out the play kind of team last season. He was highly rated at one point. Um, you know, one of the quickest centre backs in the Bundesliga was linked to a load of hot, kind of loads of top teams in European football. As you can see, he can get really good scores, especially in the Bundesliga as well when he does start. If we just change this to when the games he has started, which is not too many over the last season. A few average scores, but as you can see from the weekend, a 50 score against. Keep in mind, guys, this is against a new promoted team at home, so one of the easy games you're going to get. But it's just one to maybe shortlist, add to watch this on Surreal Data, keep an eye on. You can't see the watch list kind of icon behind my face here. Um, but you'll know I'm on about on Surreal Data, keep an eye on him over the season. He's under 23 for another year. The price put at the moment is about £12 for a limited card. And about £73 there. Not sure how accurate that is for a rare card. Hopefully he plays a lot more this season. I know he's had some injury problems in the past as well. I think with his hamstrings, just so quick he is. Um, again, want to keep an eye on for that rest of the season. Tough, tough away games um, you know, to look out for. So you know, maybe see how he performs in those away games. You could miss the boat if he does play really well the first two, three games. His price would increase. But again, look out for him, another under-23 defender. Really decent price, in my opinion. Very, very cheap compared to other under-23 defenders. If he gets that first-team football boost with this season, he could be one to watch for the rest of the season. Last but not least, we have Ben Zabaini, who plays for Borussia Dortmund. He has just signed um, from Gladbach, a left-back who has replaced Guerrero, who will delve into a moment. Now, as you can see from his rare and his limited price, it has increased due to a great performance on the weekend, which I'll delve into right now. Um, Dortmund, to be fair, all the defenders had really good scores. Obviously, Matt Hommel's with a 92 as well. Ben Zabane, the newcomer left-back, an 88 score, 50 AA, I believe, if I'm, if I'm right there. 53, yeah, 53 AA score. Really good score in his first game. Now, it is not much of a sample size. It's his first game, home game. Again, bear that in mind as well, guys. I believe we'll be, we'll be first choice left back throughout the season. Again, do your own research on all these players I've kind of showed you today. But just to give you an example, in the Bundesliga for Guerrero, who he's replacing, and he has gone to Bayern Munich, look at those scores. So a lot of 100 scores in there, really good peak and um, spike scores on so rare. Again, I'm not saying he could be exactly like this. However, he's made a great start in terms of scoring an 89 on his first game. So let me know your thoughts about this one as well, guys. And all the plays I've recommended as well. And let me know if you enjoy these types of videos, you know, you know kind of capping over the re weekend, what's kind of gone on, the best scorers. Um, I might do this every couple of weeks. I just thought, you know, with the Bundesliga coming back and a few of these have just started coming back now, two or three games in, it's a good idea to get a bit of, a, a bit of an overview on plays that have performed very well. Check out my last video as well, where I look at the first couple of game weeks. There's some really hidden gems in there as well that I've done really well this weekend. I haven't mentioned in this video, so check that out as well, guys. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.